Hi, good evening and welcome to Steve Cockrell's Unedited Run Chat. Um, this is my Road Back to Fitness episode number four. Um, in this, there will be lots of reviews on uh, my training runs as per usual. And again, as per usual, there'll be some non-alcoholic beer tasting. Um, I'll make a cock up when it comes to a chicken tikka masala. I've done my first steeplechase. Um, I might have bragged about, about that a little bit. And yeah, I've done my long run and I've realised the last four days of the week were brutal. Um, yeah, and I've got a 50 mile week in. So yeah, I'll summarise in the video coming and then after this, I will do a review of the days just a bit in a bit more detail. Okay, enjoy. Hi guys, first session of the week. Um, covered 26 minutes so far on a treadmill. Feeling very good. About seven and a half, seven forty pace, something like that. Nice and easy. Um, yeah, just had a tough day at work, so didn't do the rounds on the back, which should do really. But never mind. I'll catch up on it in the week sometime. But key thing is, I feel good. Don't feel as tired as last week, so that's a bonus. Cool, I'll give an update after this. Okay, I'm gonna do a Clarkson here. So, sit rep is just done an episode with, uh, with Matt, which I really, really enjoyed. We didn't have a script. We just literally talked about running, zero alcohol beers, crowds being back at events, uh, like football, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so really, really just enjoyed chatting about running, really, in the season coming up as well. And the fact that I might break my leg doing a steeplechase this Saturday. Um, in terms of the training, um, didn't quite get what I wanted in. Um, I said I'd done a 40 minute run, which is fine, but I didn't get my cross training, so I didn't get my rounds on the bag either, unfortunately. Um, but to be honest with you, it's not a big deal. I think I'll be able to do that tomorrow. Um, but generally the run felt good. Um, definitely not as tired as last week, which is good. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, I'm either going to be going down the Snowman's track for the first time in a long time. Or I'm going to be doing another one of these easy runs and doing a session on Thursday. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll wing it tomorrow. I'll let you know, guys. But thank you. Take care. Hi, uh, just a bit of an update on my uh, Tuesday session. So quite clearly, I'm not at the track as I planned. Um, new, my new day job. Yeah, it's tough at the moment. I think um, like I, said, I just got back in time to do a gym session, which uh, got that done as well. Um, yeah, so 40 minutes on the treadmill and seven rounds on the bag, so my standard easy session. Um, gonna have a rest day tomorrow, and then Thursday I'm gonna nail some 1k reps again. I think uh, just do that and increase pace. Um, I think the body's gonna handle it, which is good. Um, and then planning further on in the week, Friday will be a nice easy hour, and then Saturday will be my steeple chase, which I'm not gonna ease down for. It's just really a bit of a experiment see what I want to do um, might do like a 5k warm-up um, you know very slow just to get some distance in and then afterwards do another 5k easy and then Sunday will be my long run um, pretty sure that Scarlett will be doing a park run again as well so yeah I think that's gonna be outlook on the week um, yeah I think uh, I need to get some more non-alcoholic beers I think I I need one well to be fair I could do have an alcoholic one but at the minute I'm still going to maintain it. So, yeah, cheers guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Morning everyone, I hope everyone's okay. Um, it is six in the morning, and I am in Olympia, so just near Hammersmith. Um, going to have a rest day today. I think, um, to be honest with you, legs are still not there. I don't know what's going on. Um, it's not injury or anything like that. It's just a um, little bit of tiredness creeping in. I've got a feeling it might be because I'm covering two areas at the minute in my job role um, and then just trying to prepare for my um, new area, which to be honest needs a lot of work. So there's going to be a lot of time invested in that. Um, feeling quite anxious about it. 
Um, not because of the people, because I think actually the people, I know them, very good, very good managers. I'm struggling to understand why we're in that place, if I'm honest. So, yeah, let's just see what happens. But, yeah, generally, just generally excited. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. Take care, guys. Morning, everyone. Just got to the gym at literally four minutes to six, and these are all the cars that are in the car park. Looks like I'm one of the only dickheads here that have woken up early to do me a uh, workout. Um, but hey, no, it gets it done and uh, out the way. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to today's workout. Yeah, like I said, I was looking forward to um, today's workout. Um, I've had my classic. 12 by 1k session on the treadmill um didn't get to the club this week unfortunately um a lot of work going on uh, yeah i'm taking over a new group at work which is uh very very underperforming so unfortunately got to whip them into shape in terms of shrink and security um to a lot of people that won't make any sense but never mind um so yeah i think uh I was gutted to miss that session. I think it. I think it was like three twelve hundreds and six by six hundreds. So that would have been a good session for me, to be honest with you. So um, certainly looking to get back next week. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the session today as well. Uh, feeling good, feeling a lot better from last week. So I do honestly feel I probably had a little virus or something like that. Um, not that virus, uh, as I've tested negative. But um, yeah, really looking forward to it and. I'll give you a sit rep afterwards. Cheers, guys. Just under a okay, recovery lap. No, I'm done. Jesus. Blimey, look at the state of me. 12 1 Ks done. 10 of them, 352. 400 meters in between. And uh, 11 for 1, 350. Then 12 1, 349. Really, really felt good. It was one of my best sessions I've had for a long time. I think if you look at the progress from when I've done this two weeks ago, I wasn't getting anywhere near 352. So, so, really pleased with it. Definite progress. Ready for the 2k on Saturday. It's gonna hurt. Take care, guys. Lovely scenery. Doing a 65 minute easy run. Loving it that I can just run down the canal and back. Never get bored of this. Hey, around 20 minutes into my 65 minute run. Legs feel good. After a monster session yesterday. This is kind of how I wanted it to be, which is good. I think just taking a break from work to do this. I'm gonna do a bit later as well once I pick the kids up. It spreads the day out and I think it just gives me time to gather thoughts as well. Go on holiday next week, which is good. Um, staying in the country but you know it'll be a break from work which is always good gives me time to focus on training as well which is always a bonus so I think some reflection possibility that I'm going to move from a steeplechase to a 5k tomorrow I think trying to get some points for the team is important we're struggling to get a second place runner in there I might jog the steeplechase as well just to Get some experience but hey it is what it is i think there's always a chance to try a steeple chase then i will do see if i can get the technique over the barriers but yeah i think another crack at 5k will always be good i'm racing paul adams so there's absolutely no chance of me getting the a string there but let's see what we can do i'll be on tired legs because of this session obviously obviously the session before as well but hey it is what it is i'll check in with you guys later 10 minutes to go in the run currently covered seven and a half miles so by the time i'm done 
probably going to be around eight and a half, nine miles. Happy with that. I think obviously this is a bit faster than what I'd usually do it. So, trouble is it felt easy and it is easy. So, I have to look at the other runs on the treadmill to make sure that I'm not pushing too hard all the time. So my five mile is at about seven and a half. Then I might end up dropping to eight because as I can't run hard, easy, hard, hard, and then keep, you know, not keep track of what I'm doing. I think outside is going to always be quicker than the treadmill. But hey, we'll see how that goes, but really happy with this run. Well, what we'll do, we'll do another video check-in tomorrow after my maybe 5k, but definitely after the steeplechase. And see what's what. Cheers, guys. Warm up for the steeplechase. Feeling good. As you can see, I'm already bloody sweating though. It's a really hot day. Clouds have gone as well, which is worrying. Oh well, I think the sole focus is going to be getting over the barriers, getting home in one piece, cool down the water jump, job done. And then a long run tomorrow. Happy days. Gotta go for it. Go, Steve! My goodness. Now contrast with this one. Go on, Andrew! Hi guys, just done the steeplechase, uh, 2k, 7.50, no idea if that's any good or not, but it felt brutal. Um, I was told that breaking the 8 minute barrier was a good start, so yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think to celebrate, I'm going to do my third week in a row of non-alcohol beer tasting, so I've got the Peroni, um, 0%. I've also bought the Moretti, um, so let's give this a go, let's see what this is like. Oh, oh, that's my favourite so far. That's very light, very not like Peroni, if I'm honest. Um, very, very light, very refreshing. I'll probably end up down in four in about half an hour, if I'm honest. Um, and then I'll try the Moretti's. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Yeah, another video straight away. What an own goal. I wanted to buy a chicken tikka masala and I bought a bloody vegetable tikka masala. Oh. Maybe nice, I don't know. I'll give it a go. That's really bloody night now, that is. Non-alcoholic beer testing part two. So the Peroni was a massive success, has now gone top of my list. I actually need to put a list together, um, but you know what, I'm gonna do that and I will share it as soon as. But now I'm going on to the beer and Moretti Zero. Now I love Moretti as a normal lager, so this is gonna be interesting to see how it tastes. 
here we go. Not as good as the Peroni, but still very, very drinkable. Um, i probably put that at a third at the moment behind the Heineken and the Peroni. Um, I think probably looking, yeah, I'm not sure if I would go to buy it over Peroni or Heineken, but you know what? It's a good solid one. I think um, we'll, we'll see what Sarah thinks of it because uh, she's normally pretty good at beers and all that. Cool. Speak to you later. Morning, guys. Uh, just on a refueling stop for uh, my long run. 11 miles in, four miles to go. Just thought I'd uh, stop and uh, give a bit of a reflection on the week, really. Um, looks like it's going to be my first 50 mile week for God knows how long, which is good. I haven't really specifically aimed for it. It's just one of these where the training that I've done and the progression, it's just added to it. Um, a bit sore after the steeplechase yesterday, so taking this one a bit easier. Um, the pace is slightly quickened as I've got on, but that's because the legs have loosened up. Um, planned easier week next week. Um, I say I've got a week off. Um, it's going to be a family, well, family law weekend, which is going to be good. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to it, but looking forward to a nice easy week as well. So hopefully the legs will recharge. Got a big, got a big couple of weeks coming up. Um, so much just stole my jag, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I've got a couple of big weeks coming up, so uh, yeah, I just thought I'd get an easy one in this week. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. Take care, guys. Okay, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I think just looking back on the week, um, certainly my most um, brutal week of the um, episode so far. Um, looking back on it, I think obviously, I said last week, I've been doing eight weeks of uninterrupted training, which is good. Um, so I did need a bit of a break last week. Um, but yeah, I think I started off the week quite easy. It was um, like, you know, a couple of five milers and then managed to get some rounds on the bag in as well, which is good. Had a rest day on Wednesday, um, but then three days were still tiring in a way because, like I said, with the stuff that I'm looking at in my um, job at the moment, um, like I said looking at two groups and also uh, looking after, um, yeah, sorry, I said looking at two groups, but um, yeah, I'm going to be moving to a underperforming group, but yeah, it's one of these things. So I have a lot of work to do, which um, adds to the pressure a little bit. So yeah, I had a rest day Wednesday, and then obviously on Thursday, um, massive 1K session, 12 reps of them, um, increased the pace um, on last time's session. Really went well. Really felt like my runners get back into play, which is good, and then followed that up with an hour. Um, it was over an hour, about 65 minutes easy. Done it on the road. Um, I say on the road, but it was also on the um, canal. So I think if you... Um, if you look at that, I think, up was it too fast? I don't know. But I think if I'm going to start doing these runs a bit more outside and looking at the pace of it, I think I just need to make sure I compensate that. The treadmill runs are a bit slower just so that I recover. Um, but yeah, I'll certainly be looking at that. But that's, that 65-minute run was good. It felt really, uh, really easy. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. And then the Saturday, my steeplechase debut, and I want to thank uh, Kate Dixon and also um, Nigel Aston to get me some videos for it. Um, luckily, I didn't stack it, which is good. Um, I hurdled every single one. I was quite happy with that. Um, yeah, and uh, I think, look, time's out of it. I just wanted to try the event. And yeah, absolutely no doubt that um, it's going to, it's going to hurt and I know exactly what I need to do in terms of training um, so yeah really really happy and I think the Sunday long run so I've done 15 miles which is good I'm not going to be upping that for a few weeks I'm going to be doing a couple of additional 15 milers just to get the legs used to it um, just, you know I think the thing I'm going to work on is the reps which is good I'm happy with that um, yeah, and as you can see, I'm still going on with the non-alcohol 
ta um, beer tasting. So the Moretti was okay, but the Peroni was awesome. Uh, I think I could, I don't know, I'm even, I'm, I've even just drunk one now, look. So um, I had one straight after my long run today as well, which is probably not the best thing to have, but it was the coldest thing I could find. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it. I mean, speaking about that long run, it was just, I felt all the elements that the weather could throw at me in that run. I mean, it was quite cold at the start. It was raining. Um, then it just got brutally hot. And like I say, you probably see in my face. It was actually, you know, it was actually a really hot couple of days, but it's just such inconsistent weather. Um, but yeah, I think going into next week, it is going to be an easier week again. Um, like I said, at the weekend, we're going to have a long one. So we're going to be going to Peppa Pig World with my, um, with my daughter and my son. Um, they're going to really, really enjoy it. I think my son's going to enjoy it a bit more because he's at Peppa Pig World. Um, which would be good. Um, yeah, so look, I'll just get in what I can get in that week and then I'll start hitting it from the week after again. And um, I think I've made the decision that I'm not going to be doing the Bovingdon 10K, which is a bit of a shame because it's my local local race. But I will be doing a couple of races coming up, which will be, um, like I said, the Vets League, which I'm hoping to do the... Um, the 3,000 metres on that one, and then um, there'll be a Southern Athletics League the following weekend, which will be a 3K steeplechase. So I'm guaranteed another PB. Fantastic. So then that will give me something to aim for in the uh, in the weeks to come. But uh, yeah, take care, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video, and leave comments as usual. Um, I'm really pleased with the feedback so far. So, you know, Please look at the episodes before as well, because this will obviously start to make sense, especially with the pilot episode. Also, just you know, check out the episodes that me and Matt do. Um, the interview with um, Emma Steptoe is really, really good. Um, it's still being viewed. It's um, It was a fantastic day for me as well. I got to interview a, uh, a great athlete. So, um, yeah, really happy with that. But, um, yeah, please let me know how it goes. Take care, guys.